so if you've been following me you know I have a course website a course hosting site called Click eCourse you might be wondering what is it we're going to talk about the site we're going to show you a little bit about it why you might want to use it why you might want to promote it and all that obviously I don't do it for free but I do do it because I want to help you I want you to be able to benefit from it I want you to have a site that's that's you can yeah, that you like that you can use that you can promote that you're happy to use that you're happy to promote but maybe you don't even know what it really is and let's get into that we're going to get right into that just in a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what is a Click eCourse well first of all Click eCourse is a website where you can host courses where you can find other people's courses it's obviously not a huge marketplace it's an, a relative, relatively new site so there's not a million courses on there like other sites out there but it's got lots of particularities that you don't find on any other course hosting site and the reason I put it together is because I wanted a place to host my courses I want a place to have my courses available for sale I wanted to be able to have uh, features for people to use the site and to benefit from you know becoming members and we're going to show you the site and you know what are the benefits what are the things that this site does so let me just show you let me just share my screen here first and uh oh share the screen <laughs> so this is the site when you go to click ecourse.com so let me just uh, put the link here um when you go to click ecourse.com you're going to see this page when you first go there basically we kind of just go through what the site's about you know what can you do on the site as a, if you're an affiliate if you're a marketer the kinds of things that you can do private plr private label rights uh, you've created videos you want to earn a pay we pay up to 75 percent of commissions on a membership monthly payments what if you're a marketer right you want to market you want to build a, an online business you'll be able to work from home you'd love to create courses for your existing uh, from your existing videos and get paid with them you know all these things are possible on Click eCourse so first the first thing you want to do is you want to register you're going to click on the register button here you're going to enter an email address a password and you're going to click the register button you're going to get a registration email there's another uh, blog post this is if you're listening to this as an audio you want to go to my blog at cis uh 234 I believe it is is it 234 I keep uh, yes 234 so cis234.jsgagnon.com that's cis234.jsgagnon g-a-g-j-s-g-a-g-n-o-n.com all right so go check that out you're going to see the full uh, video and the full blog post of what I'm talking about so first like I said you click on the register button on the top right here or if you're on your mobile it'll look like this if you're on your mobile you'll it'll look kind of like this you'll have um, um you'll have the menu on the top like this you're going to click on that little menu it's going to pop up down here you're going to click on the register right there and that's going to pop up your registration the same way send you an email and then you're going to be activated so let me just put that back to the full size here I probably should have done uh differently let me actually that's something I should probably because I'm going to want to show you a little bit what it looks like on the phone uh if you're on your mobile if you're on your device uh, let me just do that this way and if I go like this so this is kind of what it looks like when you're on your phone let's just make this a let's say I don't know uh, iPhone x there you go so you're going to look like this right and you're going to see this same page like that <coughs> and uh, basically what you're going to uh, do is you're going to click on the little menu up top register and all that okay so now once you have registered and you've logged in you can actually go here click on the login and and enter your name and well you have to activate the account and all that stuff but that's all pretty straightforward once you're logged in the difference is you see on the pay on the top of the page here you you won't see your profile picture obviously because you don't have a profile picture yet but if you want to you click on that and then you go to your about you and in here you can set let's just go back to the to the full size view here 
uh, let me just where is that over here go back to the regular view so on this page you're going to see all the different settings so so there's a few things on the site so first there's your account right your account is accessible through this uh your logo up here or there's going to be a like if I I should probably let's start a show you what it kind of looks like when you're new I'm actually going to go to click ecourse.com again let's go back here and I'm going to let's log in on this um with a test account so let's just go test uh, 22 test uh, 6 17. test 17 let's do the test 17. <clears throat> okay oh that one has a profile picture oh they all have a profile picture so you're gonna have to log in as an account that doesn't have a profile picture so by the way when you're logged in to log out you got to click on your profile and then down the bottom you'll see there's going to be a log out button right there that logs you out all right so now you're logged out so I'm just going to log in again as a uh I'm going to log in again as a uh post test that's an old test I did maybe that's still there there you go oh that one has a picture too okay I'm just going to register a new account let's log out again I just want to show you what that looks like so we'll just do that anyways register we're going to call this uh, cis we're actually going to call this uh cis two three four dot uh, at fxos.com that way I'm sure that it's not an account that exists I log in or not log in <laughs> register <laughs> cis two three four fxos with a password <clears throat> there we go password count oh I am not having the best <laughs> luck here let's put the password there register there we go okay so I can't create it Ch please should check your email to activate it so while we do that let's show you a little bit about the site so if you go to um, the courses you're going to be able to see all the courses that are on the site uh, right now uh, any of these courses you can you can look at uh, they're not they're not all free if you want to see the price you click on the show price right there and that'll show you the price of the courses and um and you can see some of them are free for example some of them are not free and any of these that are not free if you look at them you can actually pay for them just by clicking on the unlock course you might be able to get a coupon as well not sure depending on the course but when you unlock the course it asks you to pay through PayPal right so you get lifetime access to a course for only 99 you click on that one one moment will it take you to PayPal it takes you to PayPal saying you're going to pay that and you log in your PayPal and all that right so I'm just going to return to click eCourse <coughs> I'm going to say sorry you're having trouble because so anyway so now let's just go check my email let me go check my email where is my other over here let's go check my email and go get that over here uh reload the page okay click eCourse you're going to get an email like this and basically you have a link right here that activates your accounts I'm going to just open this in my incognito window so it's going to activate my account successfully activated your account yay okay so now I'm also logged in and as you can see um from the on the top here there's there's a picture of a nun you know somebody who's not logged in right so I click on that I can go over to my um profile and I can set my profile picture I'm just going to set a profile picture here um under my images let's go up to my images well actually let's do that in here let's go in one of these ones I know there's some of them that have um that's not the one there's there's some of them that have just a picture of me yeah like this right so that's a jpeg there you go this one I'm just going to use this one and that's going to save I'm going to save it and now we see that I have this picture as my profile picture right and it shows up up top too okay so that's that's the basics of course you're going to want to become an affiliate um you can go here or on the menu here there's affiliate right there and the affiliate program is where you basically just have to make sure that all this is filled in it's not a lot but you got to fill in uh, everything in the details page the base page anyway so once you become an affiliate you can do things like 
like this you'll have a link right here that uh, if you mouse over you can see it says click to copy your link so that if I click on that it copies the link it tells me that this is linked now it's pasted anywhere and I can go and share that in an email send it to a friend or that kind of stuff um so let me just uh yeah so that's uh that's the basics of your profile now the other thing that you can see in here is what's in my library or right? what courses did I add to my library from other people or free courses that I that I got that I added to my library our courses that I bought what courses did I create it shows me right here the courses I created uh any of the test courses and there's a bunch of test things I have in here plus the plus the courses that have to do with my my see new course test test course for episode 188 right here right so these are tests I did right whoops uh, <clears throat> um and then uh, what else if I go to um leaders there's a leaders board as well that shows you the uh, total active points the last 30 days that kind of stuff right that kind of people the so that we can start to give uh, prizes at some point right now we're not then there's another cool thing that's that's the feed so the feed on the site is basically a list of things that are happening on the site as you can see right here it shows me updating their profile picture right um CIS 234 updated their profile that's me right now that I just did that uh watchman is a different account I created the other day and then it also shows you know added the lesson added I added this lesson to this course yesterday and it shows here that Teresa updated their cover photo right here right and it shows that this other this other lesson was added to a course now any of these things you can actually click on most of them to go and see what they are so this is for example a podcast so the idea with the news feed is just like on Facebook or other platforms where <laughs> you can kind of see what's going on in the system if you um, are a student of a course and a new lesson is added you're automatically going to get an email well if that's enabled you've got your preferences over here too right where you're in your preferences um where are the preferences right there you can actually go and set preferences that I don't want to get emails so let's say uh, emails receive notification emails I want to turn that off I just turn it off I don't get notification emails anymore right uh, promotional emails I don't want those I'll turn that off system emails I don't want those either so I don't get anything any emails um you can do things like set your uh, a Google Ads client Google Ads send slot ID for feed there's different things like that that has to do with a promotion if you're building a business online obviously you want to have right you want to have um you you want to promote you want to be able to do things oh I went to invites so um what else is going on so if you uh, want to one of the things one of the reasons why you want to use this site obviously is to host a course right you want to host a course or buy a course or follow a course if you're um wanting to just get a course and, and somebody sent you a link to a course on the site right you'll get something like uh let's say for example somebody sent you a link to the um actually let's go to the incognito window here if I go to the courses as this test user right and I go to uh, let's say let's say somebody sends me a link to TikTok master's course and actually sends me a coupon see right now it's at 97 dollars but let's say that I actually want you to even have a better deal there's actually a coupon right now that you can use and I could send you this link directly right I could send you this link I could send you um well this one see this it's a used up so you can't have it but I can give you this one TikTok 60 copy link address and then I go over here and if I go here it's going to use the coupon TikTok 60 and look at that it's applied it's 78 80 and 97 dollars right so you're going to get this course right now at this price using a coupon somebody sends you a link to the site with a coupon code or just a link to a course and you're wondering okay how do I access this so here's the thing so right now you can see that this course has a bunch of lessons in it up top you'll see that it's got 52 lessons eight modules two files and the total lessons are two hours 35 minutes so if you add up all these right they're two hours 35 minutes there's two files in there um and all of them that say unlock course is if you were to try to click on it 
it'll tell you well this this is a course that's not accessible right uh, because you didn't buy it it's not yours you can still buy it for 78.80 right uh right now because you're using this coupon right if I remove the coupon then it goes back to uh actually it keeps the coupon I guess I gotta fix that but I mean why would you want to remove a coupon unless the coupon gives you a high a lower higher price than what's available right so I mean that's uh one of the things on the site to just navigate around uh the one of the things you can do on the site is always um is always um to you know promote your course right as a as a as a teacher or as a, a creator of a course right you have access to this more like this right as you can see right now there's a deal that's active there's coupons that are active and I can see the sales you know and the fees paid and that kind of stuff uh there's actually this is this is not accurate because this course was we had a lot more sales but the system wasn't yet ready when we first set it all up so it's not all exact but that gives you an idea of how that works right I can see that there's been 1500 views there's been 4000 views of lessons there's been 105 clicks there's been well this says seven but like I said there's a lot more uh it's it shows the number of students right here I can actually click on this to find to show you the list of students well I, I won't do that now because it's probably private but you can see the list of students if I go to another course that is uh not uh not that was a free course if I look at one of these free courses this one here and I look at the oh it's not this is oh yeah students four so there's four students which are these these people right which um aren't these are tests that I was doing but it's a free course so people just added it to their to their lessons uh, to their uh library and they started playing as you can see right here it shows that these were watched so far and I can continue on the course if I click on the resume course up here it'll go and start where I left off um you can also do that on another device if I switch over to my phone I can actually resume the course there too I can actually start uh, just to another course now the other thing you'll notice uh, is that there's uh, promotions on the side right here right it says these are like ads as a marketer you can actually have your own promotions showing up on the side here so what you do is you go into your promos right there <coughs> sorry and you just uh, create a new promo down the bottom create new promotion and in here what you do is you uh, give it a heading test promo I'm it's been a while since I've uh, done this um check my new blog check my new my new blog so I'm going to put https jeansergegagnon.com call to action visit blog and notes are just notes it's whatever I want I'm just going to put let's do a actually let's do a screenshot of that let's go to my blog and do a screenshot and I'll just do a screenshot of this and I'm going to save that oops oh there we go okay just going to go like this and I'm going to save that as in my downloads and let's just call it a uh, blog so js blog right okay and then I'm going to upload that let's just get that out of there I'm going to upload that here I'm going to choose this file into my uploads uh, downloads js blog open and then save changes Oh, I guess that that doesn't work it's been a while since I tested the promos but the idea would be that that would create a promo and then uh we would have to approve it because uh, normally there's a cost to that but right now it's it's free because we're just building the site uh you can actually create your own promotion I'm going to fix that uh today to make sure that works but yeah so that's where you would create promos so that so let's go back to the courses and show you um show you what uh, is going on let's see so if I go back to uh, the course right here let's say I go to this course and as you noticed through the news feed I can just click right on the course to go to the course or if I go back to the news feed whoops go back to the feed if 
if I go back to the news feed I can click on actually I can click on these courses that are here right productivity for procrastinators YouTube channel that's my channel uh, at 10k blueprints on the course or I can click on the course right here to go to the course or right here to go straight to the lesson right this is the lesson itself in the course and as you can see it shows me the lesson right and this is uh, let's turn the sound off on this guy but anyway so that's direct access now if I go back to the feed I can go to the course directly that I want to look at right here and uh, over here I can now go see I can see all the lessons in the course there's a lot of lessons and there there's like in this case there's 200 well that's lesson 233 and that's all the courses that are there now what I wanted to show you is this promo like I was saying the promotions on the side right here uh those promotions are what um they're they're they're, they're automatic they're randomized there's there's and then of course uh, eventually we're going to make sure that but you can you can make that not show up here right show ads in course right here if I say no now there's no more ads in this course so if anybody tries to access this course there won't be any ads if I if I get this link uh, da, 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 da. let's see let's go to here just like this if I go to my incognito window and I access this as you can see this one here didn't have any ads right we turned the ads off on it because it was a, a paid course this is a free course so that's why there were ads on there because we do have to you know we do have to find a way to um we do have to find a way to um pay for our service hosting and all that stuff obviously right uh and why don't why is this not loading let's just uh... so as you can see on this page now there's no ads on it if I was to go back to the other one and re-enable the ads there's promos on the side showing up right and if I reload this page now now I see there's ads on the side here right okay so that's an, uh, one of the things that you can do but the only the thing though is that that is based on your plan if I look at the plans right here these are the different plans that exist on the site right and um and uh, let's see promo pre-promoted content so ads I forget ability to hide ads from your view and client access to your courses that's available in the professional and extreme plan if you if you do not have this plan that means that you know we have to do something to generate income right and the, so you can do that uh, if um, <laughs> if you're on these plans right <coughs> I'm sorry about that <clears throat> okay so that's uh that's the other thing what else can we talk about let's see if I go back to here okay so if I go back to here in the plans this person here right is on the free plan right this is a person that's on a free plan and that means that I can't hide courses if I create a new course let's say I go to courses here and I want to create a new course I just go create new course right here or there's a plus here and I can create a course uh, this is going to be test course for cis234 testing course creation okay and I'm gonna say done because I don't want to worry about the rest um, I'm gonna edit I'm gonna add a lesson to the course and I'm just gonna put a lesson one test lesson test lesson 
test lesson one and just uh, make it public and we just save it like that it won't have anything in it but if I go to the course now now the course has one lesson with no uh, no video or anything but okay so now that I have a course I can still I can make this uh, course um, public I can edit the course and I can make the course I go to access and I'm going to say make it public and I'm going to say done okay so now the course is public and it's got show ads in there ah, I guess this has to be fixed because that should not be accessible for this particular person because that person does not have the feature so I'm going to have to fix that let me take note of that so I got to fix the promos and I got to fix hide ads uh, for free account right so that's I mean those are things that that I need to do to fix the server I mean there's lots of stuff to do still but that's one of the things now the other thing to give you a little sneak peek of what's coming as well on the platform let's talk about a sneak peek of some of the features that are coming as you can see in here there's a there's a couple of features in here that are uh, there's groups and posts uh, see public posts in the news feed public comments public profiles view courses and lesson can buy courses view public pages and posts on them so there's pages and groups that are coming so if I go back to to this one the groups is basically um, lots of it is done and basically you'll be able to create a group and you're going to be able to go uh where I'll have to figure out the navigation but you know the group uh can be something where you can uh you can invite people to the group oh I guess there's a bug there um but uh so it, it's still under development but the idea is that you're going to be able to post in here just like you do on Facebook or LinkedIn or other platforms where there's groups you can actually post in the group and people that are members will get notifications um and the thing is that this is not going to be you know controlled by some crazy algorithm everybody's going to get notifications they're all going to be able to see the posts they're all going to be shown in the in the order that they were posted and um maybe maybe I'm going to add some sort of sorting by by you know activity or something but it's not going to be the algorithm that's going to decide what to show you it's going to be what's posted so if you have a group for a course you'll be able to create a group in here that you can be able to have people come to and be part of and then they're going to get your notifications and they'll be able to turn it off if they want obviously but the idea is that they're going to be able to see right here their notifications and you're going to be able to message people right as well uh, directly so if I go on on this I can actually go and if I'm not uh if I'm not if it's not me because this is all me so I can't really do anything when it's me but if I go to the feed and I look at for example uh one of the posts right here if I go on this one and I can say I can see right here that I can message them right I can click on this and I can message them right here right <clears throat> okay so uh, now the other thing is um the other thing that's coming is friends if I go here you can see that on my thing I have friends over here friends is a feature that's going to allow you to connect with other people on here just like you do on Facebook and I can find friends uh based on um there's no friends to show because right now the way the platform works is that it's going to show me only people who have the friend feature enabled and nobody has it enabled right other than me so that's why the find friends says no shows nobody my friend list is blank because that like I said there's there's not allowed but you're going to be able to block people so they don't see your notifications they don't see your posts you're going to be able to uh, find people that are public uh, you're going to be able to set so if I go for example to my uh basic is where did I put that is that under basic if you go to your basic you're going to see there's a <clears throat> uh, it's not here where did I put it under details oh no I know where I put it I put it under the affiliate because under affiliate if you want to be an affiliate you got to be public you got to have a public profile so over here I got to make public make profile public and um, now my profile is public that means that that if somebody searches for me they're going to find me 
uh, but that's like I said the friend friend feature has to be enabled if I go back to this person's uh, see there's no friends right here right this person doesn't have friends because it's not enabled for people but that's the other another feature that's coming the pages feature which is over here under pages the admin of course is just because I'm the admin but the pages is still not enabled but it'll be very similar to the, the groups thing um under groups <laughs> if I can show you what the debug let me just show you what the debug looks like if I go here to my debug site you can see all the uh you can see all the let's just move that a little bit over here oh my 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 connection died I gotta go reconnect here to my server open console in the window <coughs> okay so um I use VMware ESX hosts and my virtual machines are on there that's how I uh, manage all this stuff but if I go to groups for example right here on this site of course this is my debug site so I've got a whole ton of uh, groups that I created to test things but you'll see groups similar to this I'm not exactly sure if it'll be like that but you'll be able to see whether it's a public group a secret group or private group just by looking through the list you'll be able to select uh only secret groups I just want to see secret groups it just shows you secret groups you'll be able to choose only you know private or public you'll also be able to say I want to see only groups that I created right and let's just say all groups but groups I created and maybe groups I've been invited to join right because you know in this case there's none right now but I've requested to join there's one here right so I mean that's the thing so you're going to be able to search for groups and then once you find them of course you're going to be able to filter here with master right and that'll show me just the ones that say master of simple I'm in the mastermind right uh I'll be able to <coughs> I'll be able to search for uh you know other like if there's a leads private these are tests right private public whatever so we have a search for them and then and once you're <coughs> once you have a group that you uh want to see you you can once you find it you click on it now, this this pink stuff won't show right these are debug things uh but over here you can say you can see the posts in the group I can post things in the group uh you know click on this to post and enter the post and that that will post to the group and what else oh over, over here I can see the members right oh I guess there's a bug there right? hmm. I gotta fix the members fix the members let's make myself another note here so fix members members groups okay that's that's another note um and yeah so I mean that's the other thing that's coming and you'll be able to you know click on the settings here to kind of update the the cover photo you can be able to, you'll be able to set whether a membership is on approval only or uh it's open posting can be on approval or open as well the type of group is either private uh, secret or public and then the invites can either be by only the admin or by any member right uh, there's a you put a summary here and the title of the group and the name of the group and whether it's active or new when you first create it it's not active and uh, yeah so that's that's the group stuff the about is going to show the just the details of the group I, I got to kind of figure out what to put in here but for now it's that uh, here you see the cover the profile it's kind of the profile I guess picture of the group and uh, so that's groups and pages and friends those are the three things that are coming there's also another thing I'm working on which is called syndication it's going to be a feature that's going to you're going to be able to take a video and you're going to be able to extract out of it a bunch of different pieces that you need to be able to syndicate that video to 10 20 different platforms depending on how you want to do it right but that's another thing that's coming it's going to be available in the paid plans um and yeah so there's lots of stuff <laughs> hopefully you found this uh interesting and you uh you if you have any questions about the the site about clicky course about how that how the site works of course let me know let me know ping me uh, send me a message comment and in, in the in, in in the groups or 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 create an account on on, on clicky course and go here and say new support and you got a question just post a new question right just do that and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.